welcome back hope everybody's keeping well doing plenty of fishing so I'm going to tell you is the, the Galway Butcher or just a, a slight variant of the Galway Butcher this is the, the wee pattern here so the hook and the vise is a Camazon B175 and size 10 you tie these down to a size 12 you could even use the, the B170 later wire hook if you wanted to fish it just higher up in the, in the water column that's up to you the thread that I'm going to use is the Uni 3801 white using the white just to keep the body um, as bright as it can if you like rather than darkening it down so we'll just get started with our thread a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook and we'll just work our thread down just until we're past the point of the hook anyway remove the, the waist tag of thread the tail I'm just looking at some uh, golden pheasant tippet fibers Right, this one here, I have dyed sunburst, but you don't need sunburst, you can just use the, the natural. Right, just pull it in between your finger and thumb, then just come in and clip away what you need. Remove the remainder of the feather, and that will give you your, your tail fibres. Now I want this roughly the length of the hook or so over the back, so I'm going to catch it in. And then take my thread turns down the hook catching in the tail the rib oval silver tinsel or a silver wire so we'll just catch that in just come back again trim this the length the body I'm going to use a royal blue you could use a light blue a lighter blue floss than this, than the royal blue, sorry, I should say. Trim that away. Offer this up to the hook. Just pull that in the length. And then just work our thread forward. Now, I've tied this wee fly before. A long time ago now. For a guy in Cookstown. Um, Cookstown's in... Northern Ireland by the way um, and he uses it the fish for the dalgan now we're up to there catching everything in we're just going to come in just open the floss up and then just to check your turn at the back now, you can do a wee bit better than that Scotty so I'm just going to come back round oh we check now I'm happy enough with that and then you're just looking overlapping turns of your floss just to get that nice floss body that we all like to see in our flies and just work this up and just leave yourself plenty of room because you have a haggle to go on the front here and then a wing of peacock now just trim away the waist then we're going to bring up our rib and we're looking four turns of the oval silver tinsel up the body. Yeah, so he uses it for the the Dalton. Too busy talking to you, so I'm just going to go back and then come back in with the four turns of the oval silver. Catch that in trim away the waist. Now at this point the head's going to be black so I'm switching over here to a Uni 3880 black just working that up. Then we'll come in and trim away our white tang thread. The waist piece of black. The haggle at the front you're looking to clar it. You can use either light or dark um, clar on this. This is just a, a hen haggle that I'm using. That's up to you guys, you can tap whatever haggles you want to use. Now, a couple of turns catches in the tip, come back in and fold the tip back. Catch it in, break away the tip. And you're probably looking roughly you know, anywhere between two, two and a half turns yet again. Up to you, it's the way you like to dress the pattern.
it's going to go plenty for me there. So I'm going to file this around with my thread, catch it in nice and tight, working my thread down to the eye of the hook, just forget the fibres, then I can break away the stem, fold everything back, and work my thread back up. Now, I like to put a wee bit of flash into this fly. Three strands on my desk. Let's get those up. This is the Kingfisher Blue Micro Flash. We're just going to catch that in. A couple of tight turns. And then we're going to come in and fold the waist ends back. Now, I'm leaving it all in, so I'm just going to cut this the, the length. Just get another flash of that. Just have a wee check at the length. Yep, happy enough for that. Then the wing. You're looking at the blue, blue green if you like. Peacock feller. Right. All you can do, what you can do here is you can just take the whole feller like that and offer it on if you want a more fuller wing. Sometimes I'll depending on the feather is just take the tip of the feather get everything to, to fold back just break the tip away and then we sort of we have a, a right and a left if you like now you're not looking perfection here it's just a the odd colour and give an impression of a wing if you like so just offer it up you can have the wing short as long as you like it's up to you I just want to come and pass the, the black tag, the, the first black bar, sorry, in the um, tippet fibers. Just catch that on top. These are just loose turns, no tension in them. Just to see what way we're sitting. Have a wee check. Okay, I'm happy enough for that. Then just come in, hold the wing. Would always advise you to hold the wing at this point of your tan on the peacock feather like that because it does have a tendency to, to move. I didn't get a clean as cut as I hoped, so I'll just take that wee bit away, bring it back round, back in, hold your wing, take your thread down to the eye of the hook, and then at this point you're just going to build up your build up your thread head. Decent head on the fly, as always, it is part of it. Find your whip finishing tool. Just come in and throw in a whip finish. Just shaping the head here a wee bit for myself. Feel the thread tight. Come in and trim away your, your tan thread. That's the, that's the a variant of the, the Galway Butcher. First coat on the head, this is just super glue guys. It's not very often you see me using the super glue, just in certain applications. But I do like to use it just to finish off the head area. Just be careful not to, if you're using this stuff, not to touch your dressing. It'll just ruin your whole hard work. Then what I like to do is the glue will have a tendency to run down the slope where the air is formed just take away the the access so there you go guys that's the a variant of the Galway Butcher so it's taken Dalkin before for a gentleman he's no longer with us um, but tie a few of those up as always hopefully they can catch you a few fish until next time, take care of yourselves, enjoy your fishing, and uh, all being well. I'll see you on the next one.